see if we are I'm gonna come live and there we are nice hi everyone this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today we are going to do a little bit of exercise I have three different angles set up for the cameras and uh, we'll go through those um, there's some exercises that I do standing up so I start usually standing up I do actually start standing up and then I finish with the floor exercises that I have and I do this uh, basically on a daily basis almost on a daily basis let's say five days out of the week uh, I end up doing this I'm trying for seven and sometimes I do get seven but uh, sometimes uh, we skip a day or two uh, just because I have the computer set up here the chat set up here mic set up here I should take a picture at some point hopefully I'll remember to take a picture and uh, share the setup uh, sort of the behind the scenes uh, uh, of what I'm doing of how I set everything up just in case other people want to have an idea of uh, creating their own content and see what they're doing uh, or what I'm doing so it helps them out as well okay um, cool it is live so aside from that welcome to our channel ding how are you doing I made it without sleeping Chicho <laughs> nice <laughs> you're like uh, 12 30 or something aren't you and uh, coolio is way in the morning what is your plants uh, preferred uh, plants preferred workout routine my plants uh you know what i did i my plants are i try to have plants that are as low maintenance as possible really there are some that are considered to be extremely high maintenance uh but i've trained them uh, or we've come to an understanding that they need to be low maintenance to stay with me so they they, they stay with me uh, let's get fit with chicho <laughs> let's get fit with chicho i love spider-man how are you doing holden who's how are you doing i took an uh, impromptu nap at uh, 6 30 p.m my time and woke up at 9 30 p.m so i'm good to go for a few hours awesome awesome I'm extremely tipsy. <laughs> Spider Man, don't lift weights when you're tipsy. Chicho, you're awesome. Hello, Miro. How are you doing? Catholic traditionalist. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Huckleberry, how are you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. That might be inappropriate. I apologize. It's okay. You can be tipsy. Everybody's. Uh, uh, can enjoy their time however where they want right uh aside from that let me do a little intro dragon how are you doing and you guys would have seen this intro uh before that i've come into the live stream a lot i took some cues from this stream and podcast and started fasting 48 hours in right now. nice 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 oh boy haha i'm restocked on canvas today and i have a little special something save for 420 stream i might partake in nice nice also a bit ding also a bit tipsy not tipsy just dizzy dizzy dragons uh oh is that from last night we've all had to uh imbibe from time to time spot of tea how are you doing there's people rolling in now welsh player hello my man i'm drinking to martin <laughs> ciders for martin but it's hard to get drunk on oh lager you're drinking lager i thought you like your cider you had a cider Arkana side, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho. Surprise, you're on this late. Yeah, I've been um, doing a f doing some streams late at night, eight thirty and stuff. Chicho, let's get swooly, swooly, swooly. Thank you for being here, gang. Okay, now I'm doing okay. Chicho, Kaberi says, things have been hectic with studying for my high school finals, so I've been busy. Yeah, I bet you are. And studying from home, you gotta manage yourself and stuff. If you guys want to follow our work, Patreon is a good place to be. Okay, uh, I am fairly active there, so uh, I am updating, sharing information, letting people know when uh, you know we're going online with the live streams and stuff. Okay, uh, if you can support through funds, fantastic. If you can't, you can still follow. Nothing's behind paywalls. I share everything uh, because that's the way it's got to be. <laughs> okay 
<laughs> Did you mix some uh, branch chai uh, amino uh, aminos with that lager? Ah, oh, is asking Martin. Late night workout time. Late night, and uh, I usually do this routine in the mornings, right? I wake up early, five, four thirty, five thirty, five thirty. I'm usually up, uh, doing my thing, uh, and I usually do this routine. You know, after, after I, you know, you got to get the body going a little bit, right? So I usually end up uh, doing this around six thirty. Takes me anywhere between. Seriously, takes me anywhere. I switch it up depending on how my body feels in the mornings at the time. Uh, it takes me anywhere from 20 minutes if I'm doing a Speedy Gonzalez style just to burn up some sweat we're gonna do a slow-mo style <laughs> today uh, so you can do this you can do any exercise fast to build up your breathing get a little sweat in sort of do it cardio as well as a little bit of weights we're not doing heavy weights right we're not doing heavy weights <laughs> I'm about to turn uh, 20 uh, is that a big deal mm, you're not teens anymore Holden I'd love to hear someone's opinion. It feels weird. Uh, yeah, you're not a teen anymore, so that's what it is. Hey, Lonely Piggy, that was, that was actually it. Uh, we're broadcasting this on Twitch. We're live streaming on Twitch uh, right now because it's an amazing platform, amazing people we have on chat, phenomenal mod. We connected up to Discord. There's great con conversations taking place there. Uh, so if you want to follow the work live as we're doing it, Twitch is where you want to be at. And if you want to support this work, you can follow, subscribe through Twitch. That's a great way of supporting this work as well. How do I sub? Honestly, I can't find the button. I'm not sure, Ding. It should be on the top on Twitch. Let me check. Anyway, it should be on the top, I think, somewhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do announce everything on Twitter. Uh, I'll always be making how are you doing sleepy waves people rolling in uh, I do announce these streams on uh, Twitter 30 minutes before we go live and I do it on Twitter gabs minds VK and hello those are the five platforms that I'm active on I'm sort of using as announcement platforms right but the blog stuff the main meat of it you'll find on patreon I also have a website uh, it's on blogspot but at some point we'll have our own website going as well and right now we're uploading to BitChute and YouTube uh, but I'm gonna add a third one soon Catholic traditionist thank you very much for the twitch prime sub okay uh, we will be uh, adding a third platform as soon as I take a little survey on discord and this I'll put this out there right now everyone watching it live which other third platform video sharing platform would you do you want to be uh have the option to watch the videos on okay i'll go with the majority uh takes it okay i no, not tiktok joker <laughs> it can't be tiktok i do two hour videos three six hour videos i can't do tiktok oh coolio thanks for gifting us up the thing uh, ding bar. Uh, so I'll do the survey on uh, YouTube uh, membership and we do have YouTube membership so if you want to support this work uh, Dillian you ma you mentioned uh, Vimeo I do have an account on Vimeo that I opened up almost at the same time as YouTube that's way way back back when uh, but you, uh, Vimeo I thought they had some limitations we'll take a look at it but if Vimeo is it Vimeo is it right as long as we're not limited on how many videos we want to upload um, but right now be shoot on YouTube some of the videos are not processing on be true some of the videos we can't load on YouTube censored so it's a whole bunch of uh, shebang that's why we're gonna go with three okay Nicholas glad I woke up to this haha how are you bro doing well gonna do some exercise need to move the body right uh, and YouTube membership channel membership is a great way to support this project as well okay and um, I will ask the YouTube channel members, the Patreon members, 100%, uh, and announce, uh, sort of ask the people on Discord to find out which video sharing platform you guys want. And if you already want to give me feedback, please go ahead, and I'll get things, the ball rolling on things. Uh, okay, or get the ball rolling, or whatever the saying is. And we are at times of we're. We want to make sure our healthcare systems are not overwhelmed, right? Um, irrelevant of your perspective, 
on what is really going on there's something going on uh, make sure you pick the right battles and uh, you don't follow the noise right and be kind uh, take care of your healthcare workers and all the essential workers that are out there keep a little bit of physical distance irrelevant of what you think is going on either out of respect out of kindness or out of uh, you wanting to wanting yourself to protect you wanting you to protect yourself and your family okay uh, it's weird saying these but it is what it is right there's a lot of people doing a lot of wacko stuff uh, aside from that gang welcome to the stream I'm gonna take these guys down and should I show you my exercise routine I'm just gonna catch up on chat a little bit silk share I don't know silk share uh, I do just to let you guys know on the video sharing platforms initially I was loading on YouTube BitChute, shoot and daily motion all three of them you'll find my math videos initial sets on all three okay and then uh, daily motion is daily motion right <laughs> it went in that direction Vimeo you had to pay to have some of the features and stuff and you know when I decide to do some operating on budget so I can't really pay to be on a platform it doesn't suit the business model right now anyway we don't have the funds so I stuck with mainly YouTube now we're on BitChute as well uh, BitChute you have to you know subscribe to get the playlist but it's okay we can sort that stuff later once we get the funds we do on BitChute right and whatever else we need it we need a tertiary one we need a third one okay don't think anyone can get past all these mods oh we're getting a little bit of troll action going on and <laughs> the mods are awesome <laughs> they take care of business then guys uh lots of love for the mods gang seriously uh you guys gotta respect that uh that action uh fantastic fantastic try try skill share you will make some good money and it's educational content okay uh the thing with sleepy sleepy waves uh do you guys consider everything i load on educational to a certain degree it is i consider it all educational okay so uh silkshare sounds good to me if we do that zare how are you doing what's up brother on the west coast <laughs> hope you're doing well okay i got tea uh with uh honey if you're doing a workout you need water okay i got water we're not gonna go too hardcore there's a live streaming platform called uh, D live that's gaining popularity I heard of D live uh, one of these uh, uh, blockchain uh, sites I opened up the account and then I lost the password because I liked the idea but I didn't use it right away and then it was very difficult to get another account even though I had f phone and stuff so I don't know if it was D live or not it was one of them uh, I got dates walnuts and almonds okay when you're doing a workout or when I do a workout when I do heavy weights we're not doing heavy weights right now when I'm building muscle specifically uh, mainly focus on bulk to a certain degree right now I'm mainly focused on technique I'm gonna show you why right but you're burning muscle so you need a little bit of carbs and a little bit of protein to feed the muscles for muscles to be built within 20 minutes of your workout uh, ideally so when I used to go to the gym do heavy work heavy workout okay within reason right I don't I do what I do right um, I would take walnuts or walnuts or almonds and dates okay that was my main snack in the gym I don't take any supplementary proteins sleepy waves I I do food okay I realize a lot of people recommend taking supplements and stuff but uh, right now I'm managing with food there's there's a lot of okay I think you can tag this stream as fitness can I I tried it didn't work it wouldn't give me the option for fitness I just put chatting can I change it 
Let's see if we can cha change it. Fitness. Fitness. Fitness fun? <laughs> fitness dash? <laughs> what are we going to call it? There's a whole bunch of fitnesses. It won't let me do my fitness. Should I do my fitness? I don't know. You guys let me know, man. What should we do? Walnut almond dates are amazing. Amazing. Sports and fitness, I think. Sports and fitness. I think I looked that up. Sports. Sports, super bikes, try, fitness, sports, and... And... Oh, my God. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. I'm gonna do my fitness anyway. Let's do it. Let's just chatting, man. Too complicated. It became too complicated. <laughs> uh, should we start? Let's do. Thanks for the suggestion, by the way, uh, Spider Man. Thanks for the suggestion. You don't have to just. Ah, uh, have to just. I thought. Okay, I will at next time. Uh, if you guys, when we announce live streams. If you know of the perfect category, uh, after in the schedule folder on Discord, please let me know what to post those uh, our live streams, what category, because I, I don't know all of them, right? I don't know uh, which ones would be the best ones. What do you think of pomegranate juice? I think pomegranate juice is fantastic. <laughs> so serious. I think it's amazing. <laughs> Can I ask a round robin question? Weight and height of each of us. Oh well, yeah, Martin, good question. Macadamia nuts, macadamia nuts. Let me show you the angles, okay? I'm gonna move my chair. I'm gonna take off my glasses. gonna start standing up by the way and uh, by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs okay uh, I'll try uh, the, I'll come and check on chat every now and then we got lots of mods here so they can take care of business and we very much appreciate them okay and uh, we're gonna do standing up first and I have a camera set up for the floor as well so let me show you the angles first so you know what uh, what we're gonna do. This is the stand up angle, okay? And you would have seen, you would have seen us doing a lot of work there and different angles and stuff, right? And my computer's set up over there right now, right? So I'm gonna show you my stand up routine right now. And then we got an angle, which is gonna be on the ground, right? Because <laughs> I end with the ground, okay? I go on the floor and we do have yoga mats and I'm usually uh, do my exercises sometimes I do them here sometimes I do them in another location I'm sorry if the sound is going to be a little low because the mic is set up by the computer okay so let me know if the sound is okay right now I could uh, possibly put the uh, mic down on the ground uh, when we're doing this routine and maybe we'll do that uh, hopefully it won't disconnect okay so let me get back this angle okay how was the sound oh thank you for taking care of business gang wow 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 a good job mods indeed 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 i'm ready <laughs> nice spot at one saw the sword passing next uh, next week I juice pieces, da, 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 da. I have a nice headphones on. The sound, the sound is great. Okay, we keep the system the way it is. Uh, simpler on my part, right? Nice, awesome gang. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go at it. Okay. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay, and here's the thing so with time with as you grow older your body is aging right and you're gonna you're gonna get hits you're gonna take a uh, little bit of punishment that life deals you right so 
there is no single exercise routine for everyone there isn't okay so you have to figure out what the best exercise routine is for you right that's the way i've dealt with it however you're going to need help because the body is very complicated so when you find that you're aching somewhere joints muscles you are something's out of whack right you can do your own research online right and for sure start with your own research online if you know what to look for right and you can just start at random searches and that's part of the education process but never be afraid to go out and seek help okay when you and by the way if you're taking on the responsibility yourself to do your own exercise routine and stuff like this be careful because you could do a lot of damage if you don't do things properly especially if you have some type of injury so do research go slow okay unless you have an expert with you that is telling you okay this is what it is and this is what you need to do right so what i'm going to share with you right now is some of the stuff that i've done either in the gym or at home or whatever it is over the last i don't know few decades since i basically worked out since i was in high school i was i did go to the gym when i was in high school i was in track and field and whatnot and play soccer so i've been trying to stay active but life throws you for a loop you go sometimes not very active sometimes active sometimes not sometimes you gain a lot of weight sometimes you lose a lot of weight and stuff like this right and you're recouping from injuries and whatnot so what i'm about to show you is some of the exercises that i've done in my life right that are part of what i do and some of the exercises that i've had some uh, physiotherapists, massage therapists, kinesiologists, um, and Cairo or whatever have told me to do, right? They've incorporated that into my life. Half of the ones you're about to see is from exercises that a uh, couple of physiotherapists and osteoporosis and stuff um, basically have given me as homework to do over the last year or two years right because if uh, if you're like me you spend a lot of time in front of the computer okay sitting down standing up doing using your body in a certain way where you're in one position if you're focused on things right because a lot of things i do right now is to uh, counter some of the effects of what the body is reacting like to you know doing a lot of stuff on the computer may it be on a desktop laptop or whatever it is that's some injuries right so Initially, my main focus for this exercise routine is, I'm gonna let you know right now, is if you're feeling a little bit of clicking in the joints, especially shoulders. So the exercise routine that I have is to uh, reduce the amount of stress or tension and stuff that the joints are in, right? And the ligaments and the tendons are in, especially in the sh uh, sh um, shoulders, right? And the hip area, right? And so I'm building up the core and I'm trying to give motion with the sh uh, to the shoulder that is gonna make sure that uh, I'm using as many muscles as possible so we don't have muscle atrophy and then have the bigger muscles take over and all of a sudden the joint is not moving properly, right? So there's a lot that I've learned from the physiotherapists and stuff like this uh, and it's brilliant the the research the homework that i've done to get to learn what the body does is is just progression over time right so my main focus for the i don't know at least 50 60 70 percent of the exercises is to make sure the sh shoulders are moving properly and the hip is solid the core is solid okay uh, and i highly recommend this if <laughs> you're working behind a computer a lot okay the first thing I do, I'm just gonna check the chat, make sure everything's going okay. Apologies about that long intro, by the way, because every exercise routine is different. Uh, if you're having certain issues, make sure uh, you talk to specialists and whatnot that you need to do, okay? Uh, TheraBands, right? I've started using these, and these were recommended to me from the physiotherapist, right? And basically what I do with these the first thing that I do with these, right? I make them even, right? And I stand on them. It's a parabola, 
right? <laughs> it's mathematics, right? So I basically stand on them. I'm just gonna look to make sure we get the whole thing. And I hold on. Here, let me move back a little bit. So you see where I'm holding on. Okay, hopefully you see this. Okay, it's not too dark. And you will see it. Hold on like this, right? Make it as tight as you want. You can hold on all the way to the top or you can go all the way down and give it a lot of tension. And therabands are different than weights because the tension increases as you go up. So this might seem okay, but when you're bringing up, it's a lot harder. I'm almost all the way to the top and I forget what the length of this is. Sorry, you go with your own weight, whatever you're comfortable. And what I try to do, I'm trying to do symmetry right now, right? And I'm trying to make sure my shoulders are moving properly so I don't get clicks happening in the shoulders, right? So I hold on tight, right? And I come out and I'm going basically straight up like this, right? And I go as far so I don't hear any clicks, right? So you don't go too far where you hear tendons and stuff clicking and then bring it down with control, slow mo. And you don't want any clicks on the way down. You want to control it. Once you start getting tired, you start letting go. Once you hear the first click, okay, hold a little higher, give it a little bit less tension, do it with control. If you can't do it without the clicks, you stop. get a little bit of shaking that's a good thing okay it means you're using muscles that usually you're not engaging Now I didn't count, okay. Usually I try to do 12 of those, okay. I do 12, I go as a maximum as 15. There are days when I do it, when it starts clicking in around seven or eight, there are days I can do it when it stops. It doesn't click um, at all, right? I can take it to 12 or 15 irrelevant don't necessarily try to go to 15 all the time or 12 all the time if you hear it clicking it just means you might be a little tired or whatnot don't push it just go as far as you get the clicking do it a couple more times if you're still getting clicking stop okay the next thing i do i hope those angles are working you guys are getting a good view okay now the other thing i do i do uh, curl ups, I guess, with this thing, right? So I do the same thing. I take it, right? And I step on it. And then I go down and I bring the therabands up, right? And I usually do this. Let me show you, right? So I do this, it's nice and tight, right? And I do three versions of this. So Come up, right? I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you guys see. 
Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Here, we'll do it this way. That way you guys see the motion, right? So, and I'm doing it like a fist. The way I'm coming up right now, I do it like this, right? And then I do it like this, bring it up like this. And I also bring up my arms like this, right? So I do three motions, this way, this way, and this way, okay? So I do 12 and then I switch it up to the fist like this, okay? And then the fist like this, right? This is the harder one. So that's one set. I'm usually only running through one set of each one of these a day. I haven't got into doing two sets yet, okay? The next thing I end up doing, okay, the next thing I end up doing is doing the same thing again. Make your parabola, hold the thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm coming up with the arms straight up like this okay so this is what I'm going to be doing and I can't do 12 of these I do as much as it feels okay to do and then I stop So not bad, right? I had one click there about, uh, I think either the nine or 10th rep, and then I did two more without the click, so I'm just gonna stop there, okay? Um, and it, it, like you feel tighter, and that's what you wanna do. 
Uh, one thing you're going to pay attention to, initially in the sort of the 90 degree angle, when you come here, you're doing basically the shoulder motion, right? Above this, at some point, you're going to get your back shoulder blades uh, to do most of the work, right? Or uh, you're going to share the work with it, with the shoulder and the shoulder blades. So you have to keep in mind that you're not just using the shoulders. There's also the muscles in the back of your body that you're using, especially the shoulder blades, right? And one of the exercises I do is actually I'll show it to you afterwards uh, because I do it <laughs> in sort of order, right? So the next one we're going to do, not this one, but the uh, one after this, is going to be flies when you're standing like this. And when you get to the end, you're going to try to pinch the shoulder blades, right? But usually after the one I do here, what I end up doing is, again, I go back to the parabola, right? And I stand on this thing. And what I do, you get into a position where your legs are wide, as wide as your shoulder, right? So you're standing like this, and you put your bum out, right? You're making your back straight, and I end up, well, as wide as your shoulders, and I end up doing this. Here, let me show you. And I end up doing this with the band. And what that does, you should feel the back, I believe so anyway, of the arm burning a little bit, and that's where you want to go with it. Okay. So let's make sure. And I definitely do go, I believe I do it with one. I might do it a little bit tighter. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with two grips on it. Okay. And I do this one fairly rapidly. And I'm actually not, I don't have my feet wide, which you could. I put them together right now, okay? So cancel the wide feet, put them together, or I do anyway, okay? Actually, let's go wide. I'm gonna go one more. So so three uh, sort of twirls around the wrist. And I do those ones fast, okay. And basically I did three, right? So one, two, three, and I make them tight. So that one I tend to do fairly rapidly, get the um, heart pumping faster, right? So let's put the bands down. Is it the last thing that I do standing up? Uh, every now and then I add different exercises, by the way, in this core routine. But what, what we're doing right now is my core routine, right? Every now and then if I feel like adding on something or something comes to my mind that I haven't done for a while, I end up doing it, okay? Um, but the last one really, or the core routine, I believe anyway, standing up is this one. I got two five pound weights, okay? And what I do is sort of the, for this one, is the one where you go your feet wide, as wide as your shoulders, okay? You put your bum out the same way you were doing with that. I made a mistake on that a couple of times. I loosened it up and I had to put my uh, bum up again because when you loosen it up, you'll feel pressure on your lower back and you don't want pressure on your lower back, right? This is basically the same posture, but with the feet shoulder width, right? 
And then you hold these things like this, right? And you're doing flies going up like this, okay? When you get up to the top here, about not even 90 degrees, right? You're gonna pinch the back of your shoulder blades together. Not too hard, just enough to get that extra movement in the shoulder blades happening, okay? And that's enough that I do anyway. Uh, for me, I'm doing this uh, slowly because I just recently in the last few weeks introduced the flies in there. I think they're called the flies anyway. So I'm still working my way up to it, right? As soon as I get a little pinching action happening, I stop. Now, before we go on the floor, there's one exercise I do, which is sitting down with the TheraPan. So I'm gonna show you that as well, right? So I start top middle and then I go down okay so let me show you the uh, the sitting down one move the chair over hi guys let me put on my glasses I want to take a little water break and I'm gonna eat a date and an almond and a couple of almonds anyway just because we did a little workout might as well feed the muscles a little bit right and little bit of what you want to do at the end of the workout I can tell you what I feel like at the end of the workout you get a little bit of shaking like like it's not there yet it's close we're gonna do some more arm top exercises as well on the floor and we're gonna about to do one right now. And after that, you get um, you get a little bit of shaking. Even when I put take a, a bowl to put cereal and stuff, like I shake a little bit. Uh, Nicholas, the weights I'm using is just five pounds, okay? Before we went into the lockdown, I was about to get myself a 10 pounds weights um, I might have in my storage, but they were in Vancouver and I haven't been able to go back there, right? So I'm about to kick my weights up, especially for the floor ones that I do. Not for the fly ones, but for the floor ones, I think I'm going to go to the 10 weight, uh, 10 pound. I rarely watch live, but I absolutely appreciate your presence. Inter Interpsy, how are you doing? I feel lucky to be able to share. Oh, thanks very much, brother. Thank you, or sister, of course. Right. Martin, I don't run anymore. Did enough in the army. Yeah, running I don't do either. I do lots of walking. So one date. And just some almonds. Okay. Martin, what do you do for cardio? Walk 20 hours in two days. Uh, Mask of Raven had an issue with me saying the bands weren't problem. <laughs> yeah, they weren't. <laughs> Mask of Raven. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, that's 
so. What's the specific mathematical term? Oh, your speed push-ups, yeah. It's like my one going like this. Gives me a little bit of breathing harder. You just increase the rate. Yeah, that's what I used to do in the gym. Do it faster. And then when you do that twice a week, or two visits to the gym, every second visit, every third visit, I guess, too. So take a look. Um, I had a little bit of shaking when I put it down, right? Which is okay. Let me show you the other exercises I do. It's for the shoulders again. Okay. Grab the TheraBand. Okay, I should have gone the other way. What the hell? Actually, I just go like this usually anyway. I don't tie it on this one. So I grab it like this. It's fairly tight, right? Like it's just, there's no stress on this, right? I'm just holding it tight. And this is what I do. I start off with this first. Hyperbolic cosine, is that what it's called? Mask of Raven? Awesome. So I do this until I feel burning, right? And then I switch it up like this and I move this way. Okay. It gets harder right you feel the burning and then i do it this way so three different ways right okay and that's plenty like i could have maybe done one rep one rep on the last one two reps on the previous one in the middle one and a few more on the on the one where i was like this so i'm doing them doing them like this right like this and like this okay should we go down on the floor let's go down on the floor let me show you my floor exercises Presents strings anchored at two points. Hyperbolic cosine represents strings anchored at two points. Cool. And push ups. Yeah. I haven't got into push ups yet. I've done a couple. I'm going to start introducing those, mass, uh, Martin. Okay. It's usually my wrist that I have the issue. So I have to do a fist. Do you do a fist ever, Martin? I've heard it's not a good idea just in case you might break it, right? Oh, you're gonna post about it on Discord. Awesome, awesome. Let's kick it up to the floor. Let's kick it up to the floor or kick it down to the floor. 3,000 every day, wow. The wrist position are called the uh, pronation, wrist, and supposition, wrists up. Oh, really? Greetings, blessings. Hello, Dr. P. <laughs> I would die. Martin's doing 3,000 push-ups. <laughs> Let's do this. Let me turn on this video. Okay. 
Now I'm going to put one of these uh, mats out. Okay. Now, let me show you. Uh, actually, usually I do uh, one. No, no, I usually do the tummy first, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the core that I do, and I like leg raises. So I'm going to show you the leg raises first. Okay. Let's make sure this angle should be okay. So what I end up doing is I want, or you want, your the arc on the lower back to be flat on the ground. So what you're doing, you're doing a pelvis twist, okay, right? And you're tightening up the inside, which is basically pulling your navel into your tummy and you're putting your back on the ground, right? So you want to be flat on the ground. Sometimes you can put, well, for some of the exercises, I put my fist, my, uh, not fist, but hands under my bum to give my pelvis, make sure my back is flat so it's not stressing out, right? But the first thing I do, I do this, and very simple, I just lift up each of the legs, right? A few times, right? Just to give it the motion. Let the body know we're about to work this thing out, I guess. And you're trying to make sure when you're doing this, your, your hip bones here, you can put your fingers on there. What you want to make sure is you're not twisting. When you lift up this leg, you don't want to hear the hip bone on the left to be moving and vice versa. When I lift this one on this side over here, where is it? Let me show you over here. I don't want my hip bone to be moving, right? So you're trying to just stabilize. Okay. And then what I end up doing usually, I just do the legs out a little bit like here let's see if you can hear this oh, you're not hearing the click though but if you pull your tummy in you won't it'll reduce the chances of it clicking in the motion okay and just you're loosening up right Now what I end up doing after this, let me show you this. I like doing leg raises, and sometimes I'm doing the leg raises with the feet pulled back, and it gives you a nice stretch on the calves. Okay, when you go up, and I usually put my hands under my bum, okay? And you can feel the stretch on the muscles here, and then you can do it pointing up, right? So I switch up between the two. a little loosen up the muscles 
And one thing I end up doing is I do a twist. Right? And the other. can hear clicking and stuff right so I just do that just to that's my main uh, core exercise that I do okay and usually after that I'm going back to the top again okay there are a couple other things uh, that I do sometimes with the legs and then with the core but that's my base routine for the tummy right now when I go back to the top this is what I end up doing I'm back to the theraband oh yeah I should show you the other one too anyway I'll show it to you afterwards there's a couple other things I do with the legs so with the theraband I do again I grab approximately this much right Here, we can tie it up, this one. Okay. And I'm just going across. And with this one as well, with the shoulder blades, you're gonna to try to pinch it at the end, to a certain degree. And you get some burning on the shoulders. Okay, with this. Now the other thing I do with the theraband is, again, we do a hyperbolic uh, cosine wave, right? And mainly it's the shoulders that burn more than the legs all right but do as far as you can okay and another thing i do just to as just give it a stretch is this one as well okay Now, we hit up the weights again. Five pound only. For a couple exercises for this, I'm looking to kick up to a 10 pound, okay? But five pound, we stick with her. Okay. First order of business is flies again, where we're coming down like this. And I do these guys nice and slow. Okay. Actually, before we do that, I do some just straight up, for going straight up with the weights, right? So, and this is key. You want to stay symmetrical. Okay. 
You can move this fast or slow. doing the rest of these very slow in general. I like maintaining control for these ones because I'm going for symmetry right now. For these ones I want to kick it up to a 10 pounder. the bend in the elbow don't lock the joint You hear clicking, adjust so you don't hear clicking. Then I do sort of press right so I hold the weights like this right and these ones I'm looking to kick up to 10 pounds as well okay. you're basically wanting to come down right in the middle of the chest top of the chest, I guess, not the middle. And the next thing that we're going to do is basically uh, the last thing I do and I end with this. And I'll show you what it is. And every now and then in the middle I throw a little bit of the going the ch -ch -ch like this but I straighten out even further okay so you'll see what it looks like let me show you this and I do this slow-mo and I do as much as I can okay or as much as I feel like and I sort of meditate through this this sometimes takes me a long time to do this exercise so uh, these ones, this exercise, I'm looking to kick up to 10 pounds as well. Okay. And breathing, uh, one thing I should have, here, one thing I should have mentioned, breathing is ridiculously important when you're doing the exercises, right? You don't want to hold your breath. You want to breathe through the exercise. And especially for this one that we're about to do, this one I do a lot of uh, different types of breathing. Uh, when I'm doing this and I'll I'll just mention it uh, as we're doing it okay sometimes I'm breathing up uh, breathing in on the way up and breathing out on the way down sometimes I'm doing it the other way sometimes I'm breathing in through a full full motion up and down and then breathing out on the up and down again okay 
Let's make sure we can see all of it. Here, I'm gonna move down a little bit more. If you spend a lot of time on the computer, uh, get into doing these. So right now I'm starting with breathing in on the weight uh, down. and breathing out on the way up. switch it up to breathing in for a whole motion up and down and then breathing out on the up and down again okay You can adjust your speed based on how long it takes you to breathe in and then out, right?
this one is sort of swished up to breathing. And usually after that, I'm really nice and chill, did nice breathing, uh, and I end up having breakfast, right? Got the last I just... <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, it's amazing, I love it. It's an amazing way. I, you know what, I, I haven't done this routine at nighttime for a long time, so it's... I might, I need to, I, I'm pretty sure I need to do it in the morning and at night because it puts you in an amazing headspace, really. What if she just keeps, <laughs> I could, that's why I need to kick it up for to 10 pound weights now. The five pound weights, I don't know if you noticed, like slowly what you're gonna, like I was shaking a little bit when I do it, right? Uh, so, it's you know i do need to kick it up to 10 pounds because i could go go on doing this and sometimes i do in the mornings uh for you know another 20 minutes or so so it really depends you're boarding on your bed <laughs> awesome healthy body healthy mind chicho almost did a ninja jump <laughs> For some reason, I, I, like for me, I've spent a lot of time on the ground, right? I like, I like the feel of the ground a lot. That's just adrenaline. What? How so? Oh, you got adrenaline pumping, so you need to to, to get rid of it, right? Oh, I I can feel you, bro. Like seriously, sometimes uh, the. For me, some of the exercises I do is to release the, get the blood pumping, right? That's my exercise routine, man. I figured I'd share because everybody's at home right now. And, uh, and it's a good idea, really. Uh, you, we gotta appreciate the body. We really, because look, like right now, I can tell you, I weigh like around 180 pounds, right? I haven't weighed myself forever, but I know what it is, right? There was a period of my life where I hit 215, right? Stress of life and bad life choices and eating crap or late in the evening and drinking a lot of stuff. So I know what it feels like to be heavy and out of shape. Doesn't feel good. Out of shape is a key. You could be heavy. Heavy set is okay, right? But you can't be out of shape. And for me, that was out of shape, right? Almonds and dates. Mm. 
we burn some muscle get some protein to them right And that's my exercise routine. I prefer when levels rise and fall, causing handshakes. Is that what it? Oh, the adrenaline. I prefer when the handshakes. Those are pit. Uh, no, they have pits in them. So I'm getting rid of the pit. So epiphren. Is that uh, muscle related, Martin? a few trolls while you were working out no it took okay awesome thank you thank you spider-man and it looks like initially at the beginning there was lots of trolls go coming in too right it is what it is unfortunately i'm not a doctor but my father is <laughs> nice workout equals muscles cardio equals weight loss a proper diet equals muscle plus weight loss yeah i have a really good friend old friend that is a um, trainer fitness trainer he goes a lot of people to show a lot of people think they they can look good look cut look whatever by doing a lot of workout they don't realize 80 percent is in the kitchen 80% of your workout is in the kitchen. It's the food you feed your body. My mod sort of stage drive teach awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, gang. You guys were busy doing the got them right away. I tried a few of those and my shoulders feel better already to be honest. I had uh, tightness yeah this routine I'm added like a lot of the routine that you saw that of me doing you know these ones a few months ago I couldn't even do one without the shoulder shoulder clicking right crazy now I do a full set 12 or 15 without it clicking and it feels amazing oh my god oh my god right Chicho, is there a video that you could do that goes through calories and exercise and food choices and how all those things are inter always be making 100%? If you look at my math and real life table of contents that I created, one of the main categories that I, I want to build on is called food and fitness, right? And I put that table of contents together contents together back in 2010 or so so it's been 10 years <laughs> working my way up to it <laughs> for sure at some point we I, we started doing the food stuff right at some point just to just to let you know always we're making at some point i want to go back on the food videos we made and count the calories and the carbs and the protein and all that stuff for that specific food and then link that up to fitness that's the idea on the same level we've done for math and real life for the mathematics of food and farming the mathematics of art and design we're going to do one for the mathematics of uh, fitness that could uh, stem from the mathematics and lead to gardening and soil density and nitrous yeah always be making that's my plan that's i started off with my friends that had a farm the csa so we did the mathematics of food and farming All right yeah spider-man your old vids on farming uh touched on crops yeah 100 percent nicholas All right and i just I have to free enough free up enough time to be able to tackle all the all the stuff maybe by the time we're you know a few years down the road we get it together that's a big project but one step at a time one step at a time I'll always be making i'm enjoying the process right so i'm not in a rush uh 
It'll be a great symphony once it's all done, right? And you know, if anybody wants to make chunks of that, please feel free, right? Like, you know, I've eaten two dates and a handful of almonds and some walnuts. How much calories, carbs, protein did we take in? How much did we burn, right? What an amazing module to teach mathematics. And not only to teach mathematics, but to empower people who want to do, who have a good diet and want to do build muscles, have uh, fitness in their lives, they can look at and be able to do their own calculations. So it's math, but it's not really math. It's empowering. It's giving people the tools that they need to be able to manage their lives, right? Which is something that's missing in our current centralized education system. They do, they do a lot of hypothetical crap why not do hands-on crap because they're trying to be generic going across the board so they don't offend people or whatever it is right i don't know it's a weird lifestyle spider-man that's the best way to go about it right in my opinion that's how one would go about teaching a biomechanics biophysics course yeah life course finding your finding your best self through mathematics martin hell yeah being presbyterian really helped me per helped me personally because i stopped eating fast food burgers oh yeah brutal I haven't done the mathematics of meditation. The mathematics of meditation will go into the the solids and um, the perfect solids. What do you call them? I looked at that stuff a while ago, right? And meditation and mathematics are huge. There's a lot of people all those designs and focus point, imagine. Oh, friends having a crisis. I'm sorry to hear that, Huckleberry. A lot of people are having a crisis right now. Really? No? The I've heard through the grapevine that mental health issues are going to be huge in the coming years, in the coming months. Meditation of mathematics could touch on Aristotle and the Greeks. I hope all is well, he says. The Pythagoreans. Fun. Fun. There was a few other things that I do in my exercise routine, but that's plenty, I think. I've actually been really busy for the last three days so i haven't done it for two days i skipped two days of my exercise so it really feels good doing this right now it felt amazing walnuts what are you guys eating emptying the mind so much that you can divide by zero <laughs> or go insane there's an amazing documentary about zero and infinity. Uh, forbidden knowledge, I believe it's called. And it's amazing. It's about three mathematicians, three of the great mathematicians, three of the greatest mathematicians, not the greatest, but, you know, in the top 20 of almost everybody's mathematicians. Uh, three of them went insane thinking about infinity. Almond butter and J Kama, what's J Kama? I'm assuming that's jam. That's got to be jam. Almond butter is really good. Make sure to always stay hydrated before, during, and after workout. Yeah, for sure. Get the uh, 
fluids going through, right? You burned off, you released some poisons. And the counting to infinity stream. Maybe we just set up a little clock here and run a stream just 24 hours. That would be a great channel, by the way, on Twitch. Just set up a camera with a nice setting and have a little clock in the corner just counting. Oh, J, J, Jim, Jikma, a turnip of some sort. Oh, really? Interesting. Hey, Chicho, haven't checked in a while. Have you seen the Bloodshot? Yeah, I saw the Bloodshot movie. Uh, Bloodshot, was it Bloodshot? It was on the premise of Bloodshot, but they could have done way better, right? They could have done way better it wasn't as bloodshot as i would like i don't even know what this jump chikama is i gotta look into that things are okay huckleberry says my childhood friend is a schizophrenic oh no who's currently in treatment and he's not doing great oh that's too bad he's improving it's just a very very long road yeah mm -hmm. Jamaica is a, a tuber, sometimes called a Mexican yam or a Mexican turnip. Oh, wow, cool. You know that too much protein can slow the mathematical ability of the mind? Can it? The mind needs uh, lots of protein. But too much protein slows you down. Makes you fall asleep probably like a lion. What do they sleep like 22 hours out of a 24-hour day? With space oh yeah by the way thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh, I appreciate it. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention if space is infinite and you travel 1 trillion miles and you go closer to the end than when you started I can see how that would uh, send someone crazy <laughs> yeah because you didn't you didn't get closer to the end the space is infinite seems that way from the trailer have to get uh, to watch it soon yeah yeah it was i was i had i had more hopes i heard some stuff people saying you know why did they even call it bloodshot it was and they could have done much better uh truer to the comic right but i was i was happy with it still you know it's 6.5 out of 10 6 out of 10 movie uh is based on bloodshot which is okay right but man if i had the funds i'd make something you know it's bloodshot i was hoping it would be on the level of uh, of uh, robocop right robocop when it came on the scene you, you guys are too young for this most likely martin is not martin probably saw this maybe right when robocop came onto the scene in the 1980s i believe uh in the theater it wasn't robocop what a stupid name what a stupid and then you went and saw the movie you're like what a kick-ass movie right i was hoping it would have a cult feel to it as well uh, but too much of anything is bad too much of anything is bad the pronunciation of it is weird jikama hikama 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 okay technically the length of a sphere's edge is infinite the length of a sphere's edge oh because you can go smaller and smaller i think it's in it reaches a limit no it's something to do with blood stream moving from the mind to other muscles to deal with excess protein ah it's something to do with blood stream moving from the mind to other muscles to deal with excess protein ah okay oh robocop 1988 what a great movie robocop was still huge when i was a kid in the late 90s nice nice i think we just need jeff lemire to write up a real script yeah possibly possibly jeff lemire what a writer what a writer eh fantastic phenomenal writer i picked up rise zero cgc 9.8 
last year for 45 oh that's pretty good i was hoping that the movie would give it a big price boost no such luck yeah the movie it it just didn't do it right it, like bloodshot was a name really the reboot of robocop was awful yeah i think i saw that i what no i saw robocop 2 robocop 2 was okay too robocop 2 was good actually but it wasn't as good as robocop 1 that's when that's even bad uh, i'm terrible at this sorry which one hikama hikama oh hikama that's how you pronounce it <laughs> that's a spider-man hikama worst timing possible as well worst timing possible during a pandemic <laughs> invisible nanobots fighting an invisible pandemic invisible virus worst timing right are we going to get an exo man of war movie eventually i think we will catholic traditionalists i think eventually we'll see all of the valiant universe uh in uh, valiant characters in a cinematic universe i think it's inevitable I might like an art archer and armstrong would be amazing right archer and Armstrong, like oh, seriously value of rye just imagine a rye movie four thousand and one what an amazing science fiction movie that would be right tackles ai and dystopian societies techno technocracy it would be just brilliant right yeah but there's a 2014 reboot chicho Ba -da -ba -da -ba. for which one nicholas oh 2014 reboot no 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 i didn't i don't think i saw the 2014 reboot <laughs> no i don't think i would i think i see robocop 2 and then robocop 2 was good i think there was a robocop 3 wasn't there cops don't like me so i don't like cops so i don't like cops. that was a great movie i need an invisible invincibles movie i still have to read that I agree they're simply too good for it to not happen yeah too good their characters are amazing and we might be like 80 years old or I might be like 80 years old but it's gonna happen I am inevitable <laughs> Thanos what a great character Thanos is amazing right hopefully she gets the I am an inevitable quote I am inevitable who says that as well there was someone else I am inevitable. that's matrix as well it is inev inev it, it's inevitable that's uh, uh what do you call it agent Smith said that Chicho thoughts on that code I dropped in the discord this morning the most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed in large part yeah but uh, to be an oppressor you have to control control people's minds right you can't just do it with brute force right so for sure and that's what we have right now in our centralized education system is indoctrination right which is why decentralized education is ridiculously important which is one of the underlying theses of my work right uh, free the mind quote a great man tries to get a 50 percent discount with his collection of gems what <laughs> a great man tries to or mind a great man tries to get a 50 percent discount with collection of gems i don't know what that's from who's your favorite comic book villain chicho on screen and in comics uh i like thanos but i like master dark and harada two of the greatest villains in comic books master dark and toyo harada without a doubt they're they're huge i i like them more than like i like thanos i like dark side obviously but as far as super villains brilliant villains go uh with toyo harada and master dark toyo harada for different reasons by the way toyo harada thinks he's the good guy right and he's doing what he thinks is best for humanity but he's the bad guy right master dark he knows he's bad he's evil 
but he doesn't recognize evil. It is what he is to do. It is his destiny to do, right? Uh, to be a bad guy, it's really important for them to have a really good cause and really good vision. And Toyo Harada <coughs> and Master Dark, and uh, in <coughs> in Valiant Comment, the uh, immortal or eternal enemy or immor immortal enemy, phenomenal. Uh, the geomancer's enemy insane and the origin of that amazing one of the greatest villain origins ever and we found that out in the legends of geomancer like fantastic valiant comics is brilliant there was a three uh i love one to one to three for nostalgic reasons but yeah don't waste your time on the two yeah there was a three robocop yeah yeah i remember watching three two it wasn't that good but it was okay Chicho, have you seen the newest avengers movie the one with thanos snap yeah i saw it uh, it was okay <laughs> Chicho, you should write a book uh ding i'll write a math book thanos is the same give me magneto yeah thanos is the same as far as villain goes give and magneto as well give me magneto any day he's a villain but you can understand his motives uh which it gives uh, gives an awesome dynamic 100 percent nicholas yeah Ma magneto thanos and uh, thanos and thanos you can relate to as well same with toyo harada you can relate to and master dark i can relate to and the eternal enemy i can relate to right it is the i'll give spoilers it is it is to balance it, it is because of the balance that needs to be maintained right raz al ghul in arrow i really like great art great show I'll always be making i like the first uh couple of seasons of arrow and then i stopped watching it but raz al ghul was good fantastic chicho that was infinity war rewarded for a simple movie quiz i used to do the oh was it infinity war uh which was the quote where is it a great man tries to get a 50 percent discount with his collection of gems is it ah oh, martin i had no idea i don't think that's the one you're talking about yeah i love villains who have complex motivations yeah Although the last Airbender is better show overall, the villains in the Legends of Korra are all amazing. Yeah, and they have good causes. Unfortunately, they didn't do them justice. Right? The villains had good causes, but they simplified it. They made them. The cause was good, but they dumbed it down, and I didn't appreciate that. Right? Uh, I liked it. It was entertaining, the Legend of Korra, but the villains they could have done better with. The causes were good. It started off really good, but mm, they they fell into the bad trap. Yohain Phoenix's Joker was amazing and very relatable, which is scary considering he's one of the most insane villains in comics. Yeah, and Joker 100% is relatable. That's why people love him. Love Avatar. I met the guy who voiced Zuka, Z uh, Zoku, Zuku. Yeah, <laughs> nice math with chicho data analysis on everything you could ever think of and more yeah that's the idea who's your favorite spider-man villain uh, i like the green goblin i like the green goblin green goblin to me is the ultimate uh, spider-man villain and of course carnage and carnage is unique in the marvel universe sorry i may have missed your answer no greatest man a spider-man universe a green goblin but carnage when carnage came on the scene carnage is phenomenal because carnage is is unpredictable carnage is just pure chaos right have you seen supernatural i believe so uh i like some of the villains in that show super uh no no i haven't seen the show no I think I watched one or two, but I didn't continue. That Alpha speech in, quote, The Dark Knight about some men 
just wanting to watch the world burn yeah that was phenomenal that quote sticks with me some people just want to see the world burn and i've met some of those people if you live long enough unfortunately uh, especially uh, martin i'm sure he's seen in the in that realm there are some people that are just they don't care they, they just want to see the world burn was one of the best explanations of joker's motivation yeah i like the kingpin kingpin's fantastic amazing answer you're a man of culture <laughs> dark knight is one of the greatest movies ever made comic books me too catholic traditions quick uh, fitness qu uh, question do you notice significant difference in the way your body responds to morning workout versus evening workout uh, i usually don't do i used to do evening workout and evening workouts fantastic as well evening workout and then nice hot shower eat some food not too much and rest amazing right but right now for the last few years for me has been morning workouts i haven't been doing too many evening workouts um, morning workouts just get me pumping I get a lot of work done I eat uh, my mind it clears the mind really for the day uh, the morning workout the evening workout it clears the mind for your dreams which is amazing as well right the Nolan Batman movie uh, got me into Nolan and he's one of the one of my favorite directors ever can't wait uh, for his Tenet movie cool same here i was really disappointed with dark knight rises me too uh, i'm a dark knight rises apologist i don't understand why people don't like that movie i watched it recently still good which one was a dark knight rises movie was that the bane was that the dark knight rises that's bane I like the Bane character. The Bane was fantastic. Razal Ghoul's daughter, so so. Batman, I didn't like. I did. I didn't like the Batman. I didn't like uh, uh, what's his name, his Batman, very much. I, I'm looking for a different type of Batman. Dark Knight Rises was great, in my opinion. It was good. I just the person that I didn't like in Batman in Dark Knight Rises was uh, Catwoman and Batman I didn't like them right there were just a few plot holes you had to overlook you had to overlook that's a good mo movie I give it a 7.5 I'm with uh, Spider-Man 7.5 quote an overcompensating Holocaust survivor finds a new club to join and always enjoys working well with a calm comment earth element what's that from martin an overcompensating holocaust survivor finds a new club to join and also enjoys working well with a comment earth element i think they didn't like the whole robin side yeah even the robins yeah robin wasn't very good I totally forgot about Robin. God, Anne Hathaway is so hot. <laughs> That's my Nito. Common, common, common. Oh, common, common earth element. An overcompensating Holocaust survivor finds a new club to join and always enjoys working uh, while with a common earth ah magneto oh you're giving like asking questions about the villains i get it they're common uh, yeah 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 magneto i got it coolio got it i didn't get it i was slow read <laughs> fun fun this was a nice chill stream i liked it fantastic honestly that could also be zuko from airbender yeah who else could it be um ah, i would i would pin magneto yeah magneto would be it somewhere in there sorry i'm getting ahead of myself
Tomorrow, current events. Current events. By the way, gang, uh, just to let you know, we're gonna next Saturday, we're doing a DJ set. Okay. We're doing a DJ set. Uh, my partner is gonna play, and then two other, three other friends. Three other, two of them are friends, and one of them is someone my partner knows. Uh, so there's going to be four DJ set next Saturday, and in between there, I'm going to do two math streams. I'll do the announcements uh, later on, most likely on Tuesday, and the odds are we'll do math on Thursday, Friday, and then DJ set on Saturday, and then I'll figure out the rest after that. I'll announce after the DJ set. Uh, I want to make a couple of videos and whatnot as well uh, so we'll see where that goes it's 1 15 a.m. here I'm gonna go have some sweet dreams hope everybody does the same in their own time awesome thing hope you have fantastic dreams we always come back to the comic books a good smart guy with a green thumb and rage inducing fitness routine joins a group of strange people and learns how to control his anger uh green thumb green thumb green thumb guy with a green thumb a guy with a green thumb raging this in fitness routine joins a group of strange people and learns how to control his anger that can't be wolverine because wolverine doesn't have a green thumb you could say a guy has uh you're overthinking it. I mean, his thumbs are literally. Oh, his thumbs are literally green. Whose thumbs are literally green? <laughs> Whose thumbs are literally green? Whose thumbs are literally green? Oh, the frog, uh, Toad. Toad, from uh, Evil Thing, raging inducing fitness. Oh, raging inducing fitness routine. Toad doesn't have a raging inducing fitness routine. Hey, come on, Chicho. Oh my god, who is it? Green thumb. The green thumb throwing me off, man. Who has a green thumb? You're embarrassing me. Oh my god. Green, green. Green. It can't be green. Come on. It can't be a green goblin. He doesn't have a green thumb. Who quote, man finds peace. But also violence working with the rodent and other animals oh that's uh what do you call it uh, shredder not shredder uh, turtles ninja turtles the rat guy we talking about ed norton uh -huh. i'm lost too spider-man i don't know who they're talking about i think they're pulling our legs green thumb incredible but he just doesn't i was thinking about someone who just has a green thumb <laughs> i'm going who has just a green thumb why would that even be important <laughs> he's just like, yeah i guess you have to say green thumb if you said green skin i would have gone hulk yeah i was i was constantly thinking green thumb I went from literal green thumb growing plants to literal green thumb. <laughs> crazy, crazy. What's so do I have one of these things? Uh, I can't make riddles, man. I'm brutal at them. He has a green everything. <laughs> he has a green everything. He has a green I'm gonna make a new superhero with just green thumb. Seriously, <laughs> red hair laughs all the time. An anti-hero or a hero, I guess. Red hair and laughs all the time. No. 
Mary Jane Watson doesn't laugh all the time. <laughs> Bill Hicks has a thing to say about Carrot Top. Who came up with them? Mm. It's either, it's either Steve Ditko created it or Jack Kirby. I don't think it's Jack Kirby. I think it's Steve Ditko. Created by Steve Ditko. No. Give up? I think he has red hair anyway. Creeper. Creeper. Green Goblin. Green Goblin is not red hair. Creeper. I'm thinking of Jim Carrey's Riddler. Oh. I'm going to do Creeper. I'm going to see if it's Creeper. Oh, he's got green hair. God dang it. He's got green hair. I'm putting it in chat. So you guys see. He doesn't have red hair. He's got red. Uh, red sides. A fitness stream with hyperbolic cosines and comic book villains has to be a choice. <laughs> Give me a simple Spider-Man description. I even had the guy wrong. Green hair. And who came up with them? Who created? I think Steve Ditko. Who created the creeper? Steve Ditko. Yeah. Steve Ditko. Hope you guys are having a good night, gang. Should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. Tomorrow we talk politics. That's going to be heavy. Right, gang. It's about to hit 6.30 a.m. here. Wow. Going to try and sleep some. Thanks for the stream, Chicho. And peace. Peace, Nicholas. Thank you for sticking around. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. And I'll do our closing as usual. Well, recent usual, I guess. Uh... We are on Patreon if you want to follow this work. Nero who doesn't practice proper radiation protection protection becomes swole swole after ignoring deadly spiders as well. Spider Man. Well Spider Man description. Photography expert. Living at home finds a connection with bugs. Spider Man. <laughs> And we are live streaming on Twitch. So you can, if you want to uh, support this work, Patreon, Twitch, uh, follow, sub, both, everything open. Announce stuff on Twitter, right? Gap, Mines, VK, LO. And we're uploading the stuff to YouTube and BitChute for now. Third one coming at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later and we want to flatten the curve right irresistible team gets his uncle killed and <laughs> puts us back next to a venture <laughs> these vague comic characters discursions are fun enough to do a whole stream <laughs> awesome spider-man do his thing nice nice too funny too funny gang i hope you guys stay active really thank you for the follow trisness uh, i hope you guys stay active healthy body gang healthy mind healthy spirit uh, 
Chicho reverse the wall is not a responsible. <laughs> Even Chicho can't resist Spider Man's good luck. <laughs> Hilarious. It's all in the it's all in the butt. It's all in the butt. Someone drew that and they got in deep trouble, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Funny. Or they drew it on the Spider Woman they got in trouble. With the Spider Man they didn't. Funny. Okay, gang, thank you for being here. Uh, mods, thanks for taking care of business. From what I understand, there's a lot of uh, troll action going on. So very much appreciated. And I think Chad appreciated it a lot. Uh, aside from that, uh, if you can make it, we'll do, and if you want to make it, because it might be heavy, uh, we're going to do a live stream, uh, current events tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Eastern man moved to the North Americas and finds a lot of, friends oh a cyclops not cyclops colossal <laughs> colossal not cyclops <laughs> my pleasure spider-man thank you guys irresistible spider-man number 20 first appearance of scorpions but is going for high money <laughs> fun guy that's not it martin who is it eastern man moves to the north north americas and finds a lot of friends Ah, Martin, funny, awesome. No, the last one is Yuji. Ah, oh, it's me. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I finds a lot of friends all over the world. That's fantastic. Okay, gang. Hope you guys have a fantastic morning, fantastic evening. We'll talk tomorrow or four twenty, April twentieth from four to six. Bye, everyone.